In this exercise, you are going to see the difference between using a wild card with an asterisk, which means there, this one asterisk can represent more than one character. But if you search using this kind of wild card, a question mark, it's going to represent a single character. So basically, if you watch this video, you're getting the answers. But at least you'll see how it works. So we can click Find to get the navigation pane, or I'll just go to Advanced Find here. And if I put in the asterisk T and use wild cards, and I can tell it to highlight everything. And you can see that it even found this string of characters here with a B and a T and a long word like bought. So the asterisk represented uh, all these letters O, U, G, and H. And it's also found uh, parts of words here. And now I'm going to, and don't forget you have to check this use wild cards if you're going to do that. So I'm going to clear the highlighting and I'm going to switch to B-U-T. Now I'm not going to put the capital on just yet. And I'm going to ask it to highlight everything. And you can see that we have 24 items and I believe that the last time we had 20 Eight. and it did not find this long uh, string up here and it has only found three consecutive letters. You can see we didn't get the, the word bought this time. And I think that's a better example than using the capital B but hey let's give it a try anyway. So clear all the highlighting and Put a capital B and just highlight all of them and you can see that this time it just got only the strings that started with a capital letter. And it tells you that it had eight items.